el chisme. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Cheese Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Get rid con todos ustedes. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with the YouTube Cheese Me, guys. Um, as many of you know, I've been on, on Facebook for the past few months, but today I decided, you know what? Let's talk about some YouTubers that are getting a lot of backlash, guys. And before we get started, excuse me, sorry for my for my nose i am sick um i did test positive earlier this week for the vid um but i'm feeling way better guys tuesday was it tuesday monday or tuesday was the worst day for me like i, I was literally in bed the whole day so i was like no i'm not even gonna record until next year but then this popped up i'm feeling better and well let's talk about it guys before we get into it go grab your snacks come back sit back and relax today we're gonna be talking about the aguilars because they're getting backlash for two things. One was Christmas. Apparently, they give Christmas gifts to like their their immediate family, which is their daughters, their daughters' boyfriends. Uh, you know, they give good ass gifts to them. They were giving Versace, um, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, good expensive gifts, and to their extended family, they gave them chanclas baratas, right? Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. In uh, like what happened, right? Because this is one thing. The next thing we're gonna get into is something more worse than this. But anyways, let's look at this first. The Aglers receiving backlash for only gifting themselves designer stuff, but giving their family members cheap gifts. You're not a boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn, these are fucking nice. They're fucking yeah, nice. Like, so Yo, every influencer has that damn robe. I feel like I'm a fuck it. I'm gonna go buy one right now. You know what? I should go buy one just to make fun of these influencers that have these robes. Um, literally, everyone got one for Christmas. If you guys been following me on the Facebook drama, maybe got one. Maybe has one. Fuck everyone. I'm I'm probably gonna buy one too now. <laughs> wow. I think I have to go shower for you guys. <laughs> Wait, is after the shower or after waking up? Uh, I think you know it's it's too good, no? Wow. Is that a good size or no? Look at it. Ooh, the shoes that I Some red bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, bro. When Nicole bought you. Oh, are these from Sebastian Aiden? No. No. Oh. Unfortunately. I already bought them from Sebastian Aiden. What the heck? We're, we're talking about the 90s. Oh, okay. <laughs> my tío my tío my guy got freaking nail clippers okay um but the nike shoes are dope bro. some pjs some chunks okay dang they never um get designer for anyone but themselves so this is a tiktok i found shout out to um hold on let me read the comments all the money and uh you gave your relative shitty gifts horrible selfish people you are why doesn't the rest of the family get expensive stuff uh i thought you guys will step it up this year for other family members guess but i guess not lol all the designer stuff was for you guys so sad um, so i want to give a shout out to this page the cheese man one on tiktok because they literally cover everything guys and you know here we like to support other people growing in the platform other cheese channels so yeah if you guys want to stay up to date make sure to go follow this page the cheese man they have everything but that was one thing they um the you know the ba the aguilas were getting backlash because they were like yo how are you giving your immediate family good ass gifts but your extended family shitty gifts okay so i had thoughts on this because I kind of growing up, I kind of went through something similar to this. Um, just for example, growing up, I don't know, probably elementary school, we would go to a, a family member house and uh, me and my siblings, siblings, siblings wouldn't get any gifts. Uh, we wouldn't get any gifts, but my other cousins would like literally every other cousin that was in that household would. 
But they will go in the like in the back room to hide to exchange gifts. Like, oh look, well, look what I got you. Look what I got you. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a shitty feeling that we didn't get kids as you know, growing up, bro. We're like fucking ten years old. Obviously, a ten year old is gonna love gifts. Now I don't really care. Me vale madre, you know. But uh, yeah, growing up, I went through that. You know. Kind of something similar to that. But in this case, Candy is still giving gifts or maybe just open these Gucci Versace stuff. The expensive gifts when your family leaves that way, you don't make them feel bad because in a way, in a sense, like, yes, it's going to make you feel it's going to make a, a family feel a type of way, even though the family might be like, nah, like I'm straight. Like, I don't really care. No, it's going to make some someone, you know, someone feel a type of way even let's say um like your niece growing she's growing up she's what i want to say 15 she's watching you guys on youtube uh, i'm just you know i'm just putting a scenario out there i don't know if they have a 15 year old niece right um she's watching you guys on youtube saying damn maybe my tia's gonna get me versace gucci whatever the case is and you end up giving them chanclas <laughs> pantuflas slash chanclas um yeah it, they're probably gonna feel shitty um like i said growing up I dealt with something like this, Sim something similar, right? So my my opinion is, yo, open these behind closed doors once they leave. Um, and yeah, it is what it is. And also, like, don't you guys buy this in a like regular basis? Like, probably, I don't want to say every weekend, but like at least once a month. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but that's why they're getting backlash. Me, just open these presents behind closed doors so you don't make anyone feel bad. But anyways, second thing we're going to get into with the Aguilars. Um, so a, a video resurfaced or I don't know when this was. This was a vlog when they went to the zoo and Candy actually made a comment. And well, let's just take a look and then talk about the situation. Okay. Um, so people had trouble with this video saying, yo, I can't really hear. Basically, Candy is saying, you know, kind of making fun of her kid, Nikki, like a, a parent does saying, yo, you want to go see your brother and sister Changuitos, you know, because I don't know, according to Candy, if Nikki looks like a Changuita, I don't know. But she said, do you want to go look at them? They're right there. And when she when she points the camera, you do see a father and son. There is, right here. So uh, it's it looks so blurry, but it's right here. Let me move this thing away. But there's a father and a son right here. Um, keep in mind, uh, I don't know if the changuitos act. If you guys don't know what changuitos are, there it's monkeys. Um, I don't know if the monkeys were in this general area behind the bars, as you guys could see right here. There's bars, and then behind that. The monkeys might be there. You never know. But this did make it seem awkward. Aw really awkward for, for Candy. Because she responded with saying she's not a racist. She blah, blah, blah. Whatever the case is. Like she, It just so happens to be that she panned the camera that way. But let's take a look what Miss Candy Girl had to say. Uh, I think she addressed the whole Christmas thing and the, the changuito joke. So let's let's check it out. Stop. Hold on, guys. Apologize for what. She didn't do anything. Consentimiento, Candy. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Hey, wait, el pinche moco me la. I know. Why do you guys need to apologize? I don't know. People are telling me to apologize for the nail clippers. But yo no di los nail clippers. Los dio mi hermana. <laughs> I didn't give no clippers. Okay. I gave Nikes, and they're now we know. Uh, she didn't give the nail clippers. <laughs> Her sister gave that. Okay, now we know. Cool. And, oh, and then the chancla. The chanclas are not baratos. I saw another TikTok. I went to Dillard's. I was looking for them on for me for my size, but they didn't have them, and I didn't give the the, the I mean, me throwing the quad under the bus. <laughs> So the, okay, let me tell you guys. So my sister opened some chanclas, but before that, I had given her a lot of makeup that I actually bought. But no lo, no lo subimos al video. Like this video was a mess. Let me see. 
You guys are going too fast. They're like, mejor ya cállate. But aquí están. I got them for $5.99. Well, confirm this. You guys dragging me. What I take from it is that yo me puedo parar aquí. Yo puedo llorar. Yo puedo decirles, like, this, this, and that happened. Like, I already told you guys a lot of things. And you don't want to hear it. You don't. Porque I've commented on a couple videos, like, why do you guys only take the bad? Why don't you take the good when we do good, you know? Because for, for the most part, we do, we try to be good humans, you know? But it doesn't matter what I do, what I say, you don't want to hear it. And it's fine. You don't. But to me, like, being called a racist, I'm not racist. And it's just an unfortunate timing on that video where it shows that I told Nicole, do you want to go see the changuitos? Like, mm. I happened to, like, move the camera, and but we were at the zoo. Like, I just think it's fucked up. And no matter what I say, whatever, like I said, no matter what I say, people are going to... People are going to freaking don't care. Ya si no me quieres, no me quieres. Pero yo no quiero que me quieran. You know, I can't please everybody. You can't please everyone. And for the most part, um, I'm not going to sit here and say, yo, they haven't done anything. Good. Bro, the Aguilars do constantly good deeds, right? I even tried to start a freaking series here on the channel uh, it's called The Good Deed. That didn't work out. Uh, that series didn't work out. Um, but anyways... Going back to this whole Changuito comment, I personally thought, like, looking into this, first thought was like, bro, this looks really bad. Um, even if it's a joke, right? Because you even hear Candy at the end of this clip. Let's play it again. You hear her say, JK, JK, right? Let's see. It. There is, but they're sleeping and you know, cold. You know, trying to go with your little brother and sister? Yeah, we're at it. Ahí están los Changuitos, I think. I'm just kidding. Even Nikki was like, mom, that's fucked up. Look. That face, she was like, bro, <laughs> like she knew what Candy was talking about. And even Candy said she was just kidding. So, bro, listen, just admit, just admit you were wrong. Like you fucked up, right? You fucked up. Um, but this is what's going on right now, guys. Um, I just wanted to, I, I feel like talking about this because some people think just because I like the Aguilar's or I won't, um, talk about them or what's going on with them. Like, no, I talk about everyone. I try to talk about everyone and their situation, what's going on in the cheese world. But, um, yeah, I just strongly feel like Miss Candy fucked up this time. And I feel like she should just step up, say, yo, my mistake, my bad. It is what it is. And, yeah, we still have people saying, yo, it's not that deep. <sighs> Those people irritate me, bro. Like, bro, if it was the other way around, Candy talking about your race, how would you feel? <laughs> how would you feel? Candy making a comment about your race, right? Would it still be not too deep? I don't know, bro. You, you got to keep it. You got to keep it 100. You got to keep it 50. Not 50, 50. You got to keep it even with everyone, bro. But yeah, that's what's going on, guys. Uh, leave me your opinions, comments, concerns down below. And yeah, what do you think about this? Let me know. But other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the new year. And <laughs> get it? Because it's literally on Sunday. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.